Just as I started typing this column about banning fireworks, the sharp bang of an explosion rang out. It's about 9 p.m. on Sunday evening so no good reason for the city center to be reverberating with the sound of rockets. I mean, it's not unusual for the sound of rockets in the city center of an evening, but I specifically mean fireworks here. There are strict limits to when fireworks can be set off in Glasgow yet these are roundly ignored in the run-up to November 5th. It's as though all the pent-up energy during the rest of the year is expended with the letting off of fireworks. There's something quite odd about the period around bonfire night and on the night itself. Young people who would otherwise behave themselves go crazy with fire and explosions. A firefighter I spoke to said that on no other night of the year do crews face abuse and attacks like they do on Guy Fawkes night. The dark nights and the bright spark of the fireworks seem to release the baser instincts of a minority of people. Those who spend the rest of the year keeping a lid on their negative behavior, who follow society's rules but find it a struggle to do so. One fireworks seller quoted this week said the most popular selling fireworks he has are called Beat Thy Neighbor and Neighbor from Hell, it says a lot. Then, each year, there's talk of witches and goblins, of masks and disguises. The dark night comes early and next thing you know people are being terrorized in the streets. At a meeting of Pollock Shields Community Council last week a woman brought along a little show and tell. She had been out walking her dog and found two industrial fireworks lying in her street. Against her better judgment, wiser to leave them where they are and phone 101, she brought them along to the meeting to show everyone else what these brutes are like. It caused quite a stir, and rightly. One of them, called Savage, lets off dozens of fireworks from the one container. The risk to anyone who gets in its path when it explodes is considerable. Last year in the run-up to bonfire night the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service was called out 400 times a week with 338 fires on November 5th itself. It is a huge use of resources to cover this and ensure the safety of everyone else during routine calls-outs. Pollock Shields Community Council was meeting to find out more about a plan to keep local residents safe on bonfire night after a horrifying evening of trouble last year during which masked men set off industrial fireworks in the community, shot fireworks at police officers who were trying to calm trouble, and injured a young child when a firework was thrown into a close. This year the Scottish Government launched a consultation into introducing stricter controls for fireworks. A ban is in the gift of Westminster. The powers are not devolved for more on this story, visit the news article link.